Dentro de todos los personajes que has podido hacer, Amy tiene muchísimo que ver con tu historia, sí. muchísimo que ver con ese intercambio cultural sí. eh, y con el gran amor de tu vida que también es como Lino, es italiano. Entonces, ¿cuánto de tu propia historia de amor pusiste tú en esta historia de amor? Yo creo que en el sentido de lo, lo humorístico, no sé si eso es una palabra para yo poder usar, no sé si, si existe, pero el, el humor de lo que es el tú estar casada con una persona italiana y el tú tener que lidiar día tras día con, con el italianismo, en la comida, en la historia, en el arte, siempre buscando esa conexión, ah, oh, eres italiano, no es igual, dime, no es igual, este, este, este lugar no es igual a Italia, no es igual a esto, y, y es como que todo el santo día, y cuando yo podía hablar con Tempe acerca de eso, como nos reíamos a carcajadas, ella claro, recordándose de esos momentos con, con, con Saro y yo viviéndolos ahora con mi, con mi marido, es solamente es, es una de las cosas más especiales de lo que es estar casado en una cultura que es antigua, que se preserva, que se ama, que se celebra y, um, y tenemos mucho, yo también siendo latina, tengo mucho eso en común um, con los italianos y porque somos una cultura que vivimos siempre festejando todo lo que somos o sea que en mi casa no se espera un momento callado siempre es mucho ruido pero que va Chris, um, I'm super curious tell me how this collaboration with Zoe happened well I was having dinner with Zoe and her husband Marco and she started speaking Italian to him at dinner and I went I am reading the perfect book right now that would make the perfect show for her. And so I ran to the bathroom and I called my producing partner, Lauren, and I said, can I tell her about the book? And she said, no, not right now, because we don't have the rights to the book yet. And so I said, okay, can I tell her that I might have something for her? And she goes, yes. So I came back to it. I was like, I'm going to call you tomorrow. And so we did. And oh my God. It all came together, and we got Attica and Tembi to write together, which is like this incredible sister story. Yes. And then, of course, Zoe brought all her sisters to the producing party, and then it just became this magical experience where we're creating this really contemporary romance that I think people are just going to dive into. Oh, definitely, and her own Italian love story. I know. Isn't it amazing to yeah. hear her speak Italian? I know. And, oh, I know. It's yeah. so incredible. It's such a fantasy, too, I think, to be able to leave your country and fall in love in such a deep way and, and have just all the gifts of this love and romantic experience. Unconditional love. Yeah. Um, Reese, nowadays you're doing things that you really love, whereas I'm not saying that when you were 25 you didn't, but right now meaningful stories have a priority in your life. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, you get to a certain age where you start to look around and you don't see the stories being made that you'd like to see, and that's when I kind of stepped up and started buying books and creating more television shows. <laughs> More television shows and movies based on books that really center women as the hero of their own stories and allow women like Tembi Locke to tell her story in her own words. And that's when I get really excited because when I get to see her on set and it's her story, it's just magic. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. How was the experience of transcribing your story through Zoe? And how was the experience working with her? Well, first of all, working with Zoe was amazing. She's such a beautiful collaborator. She brings a sensitivity and a strength to this role, to her work in general. And so when she decided to come on board, my sister and I felt so honored because one, she works with her sisters. She knows Italian culture. She speaks Italian. She has a lot in common with you. <laughs> she has a lot in common. And we had these lovely conversations before she came on and then when we were filming we would sit sometimes and just talk in her trailer and she would ask me questions and she just was crafting this beautiful beautiful performance that feels so honoring and so gracious and so loving. You know, did you watch the series already? Oh yes I've watched the series I was a part of the editing and everything and there are parts that are hard um, and there's parts that are beautiful and there's parts that just bring me such joy and it's a reminder for me that life has had all of that in it, and that even at the hardest parts, there's always some joy to be had if you just wait for it. And 
and I don't know, it, it just has reminded me of love and it's reminded me of my late husband, it's reminded me of family. I just feel incredibly grateful.